For Shiro's arm, I'm using 3mm craft sheets that I got from Hobby Lobby. You can also get them at Joann's or Michael's. I'll also be using a box cutter with a fresh blade. An X-Acto knife will also work. A Sharpie and two brass brads that I got from the dollar store. Once you have all your tools, you'll need a pattern. I've included a link in the description below that has the pattern that I used. You may have to make some adjustments to fit your own arm. Once you have your pattern, trace each piece out and then cut it with the X-Acto blade or your box cutter. Make sure to keep the blade straight so you do not have a beveled edge when you do cut them out. The next two pattern pieces are the forearm and forearm and leg. Cut them out as well. I left some space on the forearm and leg for uh, size adjustments. The next two pattern pieces are the hand and thumb. There are two arrows on the thumb edges where you'll glue them together. The next pieces are the tip of the thumb and the knuckle piece. For the glue, there was two options. I had Wellwood, which is available at Lowe's and Menards, and Barge, which I had bought online. Barge and the other are both contact cements, so I have to put it on the edge of both sides that I glue. You should let the glue dry between 10 and 15 minutes. Once the glue is tacky, you can stick each side to each other. You only need to use a thin layer. Lobbing it on or adding it extra will only cause it to pull away. When gluing the tip of the thumb, take care to make sure the edges meet. If they don't, you can always clean them up with a Dremel liner. Take your four knuckle pieces and then glue them also to the hand.
I left these flat for the moment, but I glued each edge after the video. Here I took the camera outside to try and plasti dip and film at the same time, it didn't really go well. After this, I got a few bolts and I set the thumb piece and the tip of the thumb on them so it was easier to spray paint without them blowing everywhere. You can also seal them with Mod Podge or heat seal them. After they were dried, I brought them inside to be painted. This is a metallic paint that I use. I recommend using the foam brush because I won't leave as many streaks on the foam. Afterwards, I took a long glove and I started hot gluing each piece onto the glove. Probably not my defining moment, and if you decide to do this, you should take extra caution. I used a low temp hot glue gun though. I did not actually glue the forearm and bicep piece to the glove. Here I'm cutting a small hole to insert each brad into each of the bicep and forearm pieces. And here is the final piece. 